put it through one of these gaps. <laughs> I've needed to use my emergency fund for a couple of unexpected bills and it means that I really need to work on increasing my emergency fund especially because I have my car MOT due next week I am a little bit nervous about that so today we're going to head to the farm and uh, before I go I'm actually going to get some lunch because it saves so much money when we actually bring our lunch with us then we shouldn't really need to spend much money <laughs> An emergency fund is, is savings for a rainy day. So it could be anything from like family emergencies or job loss, like it covers all your typical emergencies. An emergency fund has saved me so many times. But then the question is how much? How much should we invest in an emergency fund? So what's in my changing bag? For lunch, so we've got some plain cheese sandwiches and crisp. We haven't got any food, it's all run out. A couple of these veggie straws. We do have lots of these juices left, which I thought is really good. And then we've got these little oh, fruity bakes, maybe not them ones. We've also got these little biscottis. I have bought a yogurt too. So that's a couple of snacks there for the kids. Okay, so I'm just gonna look and double check the cost before I head to any activity. I always like to just check out what the parking's like. Sometimes it's really expensive the parking, so I may try and park somewhere else. And then also it's to see how much like, the fees are, so that I've got a rough idea of what the budget will be for today and how much I'm expecting to spend and then also i'll add a little bit of a miscellaneous fund so that it's like covering everything so i like to call it a baby budget but we're just detouring and put some air in the tires and i thought this would be a lovely bonding session for my son and i where i'm going to show him how i put air in the tires so we're going to use the air and then we're going to just put 20p in do you want to put 20p in yeah okay go on then like yep go on then that's it and then we're going to put change that to 29 uh, so the plus sign. Turn that to, to, to yep, there we go. Alright. So yeah. You see it says 29 there. It's yeah. gonna change to whatever number it is because it needs air in it. Does it say? It says 24. Okay, so we need to keep the air on it until it hits 29. 28. Oh it's 30. Okay. 20, that's fine. yeah, stop. Is it 29? Yeah, 29. So we've just arrived at the farm now. Something I've always struggled with is understanding what should I include in the emergency fund. So you've got your essentials, your mortgage, council tax and grocery bills as well. But then what about other things? Should you include Netflix, clothing budget? It's a tricky one. Personally for me, I have included just a bare minimum. I like my energy and my phone contracts because I still need to contact people. I still need electric. Things such as Netflix, I wouldn't include in the budget. So we've just arrived at the farm and I'm just quickly giving the kids some lunch and then we're gonna pop in and have a look. I have no idea what to expect, but it's in the middle of nowhere, like pure country, out of the city. Yeah, let's see what it's like inside. Oh, this is, it just looks I know, go on, look, he's looking for some food. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's sniffing it. Yeah, just for yeah, or you could just drop it. Look, it's ready for waiting for it. Oh. <laughs> Did it peck you? Looks very angry. Mm, it does look angry, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to hit it. Look, is it getting up? No. Wow. Oh, I don't want to chuck it up. Just put it through the gap then. Put it through one of these gaps. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, look at this one galloping. Yeah. Oh wow. To feed one. Yeah. 
<laughs> I took it over. Oh. Just a couple. Diamonds, yeah, look. So we just got back from the farm. The, the question I've always struggled with, the what's the duration? How long should an emergency fund last? Now, when I first started my financial journey, I was using the Dave Ramsey baby step method. And whilst I understand the thousand dollar emergency fund is a starter until you've cleared the debt, what happens if you lose your job whilst you're cleaving the debt? What happens if there's a huge family emergency whilst you're cleaving the debt? Last year, it was locked down. So many people had lost their jobs and found themselves with no income. How do you get by and pay the bills? If you feel like you'd be able to get back on your feet within a month's time, then one month emergency fund would be sufficient. Or if you felt like it would take about three months realistically to get back on your feet, maybe you need to work <laughs> Maybe you need to work towards an, a three month emergency fund. I definitely think it's down to personal circumstances. I don't think it's as easy as just having a one size fits all approach. <laughs> So we just got back from the farm and we had such a brilliant time. The kids loved it. The only problem was it had an indoor area where the kids were able to play, but my son was a bit too old for it. So he was sort of like knocking around whilst my daughter was playing in there, but she loved it. It had some really cute tractors and yeah, a little baby slide. It was really nice. So that was good. And the animals was, it was so much fun to see the animals. Um, but now we're back. I'm about to make some dinner. I'm just having a quick cup of tea before I get started. Um, <laughs> my daughter's uh, just shaking the um, chair. So I've got the veggies chopped up here and they're ready to go. And um, we've got some onions. I think I'll chop up garlic as well. I've got some chicken here that I'll shred into small bits for my daughter. So I've got some seasoned chicken for us, which I'm going to shred into some smaller bits and then we'll mix it all together i'm just cooking dinner now it's kind of got you in an awkward angle hence why i keep dip that in a pot we've just got a little stir fry on the go should be done in about 10 minutes um but yeah i wanted to wrap up today's vlog basically hope it was good for you guys um and for the emergency fund i hope that's helpful like i genuinely feel like it's a personal decision depending on what your monthly expenses are and how long you want the emergency fund to cover you if you feel comfortable that a month is long enough then maybe it's a month but if you feel like you feel much more secure with a year six months three months then maybe that's enough and also about listening to drake's album and i did listen to kanye's album earlier on in the week What's your thoughts? Which album do you prefer? Do you do you like either of the albums? Uh, personally, I just prefer the old albums. This whole new era is not really for me, but um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.